Is it worth buying a $100 projector, or is it just a waste of money? What's going on everyone, this is Kevin here, and in this video, we're going to be taking a look at the TronFi Wi-Fi Wireless Projector. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the video. And just to get this out of the way, I'd like to disclose that this was sent to me free of charge in exchange for my completely unbiased review. So inside of the box, there are a variety of different items included. First, we have a very detailed instruction manual, then we have an analog video cable, then we have a power cord to provide some juice to this sucker. We have a wireless remote, which requires two AAA batteries that are not included. We have a mail-to-mail -mail standard HDMI cable, which is great to see included. And finally, we have the projector itself. This projector comes in at 800 by 480 resolution. It can be scaled up to 130 inches, and it can beam a projection at 1200 lumens. So there are a variety of different points of interest on the top of the device here. We have some buttons, which include play, pause, back, navigation, power menu and input. On the side here, we just have some certification information. On the front side, we have some adjustment rings. On the back side, we have an input for the power. Then moving on over, we have a variety of different ports. These ports include a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, AV, HDMI, SD card slot, USB, and a five volt USB out. Then of course, on the front side, we have the lens. Then on the bottom, we have four small feet and an audio driver. One thing's for sure, this audio driver is quite small and not very loud. On the back side, we have an IR port for the infrared from the remote. We have another video input, and then we have a fan slot. Now let's move on to the most exciting part of the video, and this is a demo. First, I'd like to mention that there are a variety of different inputs, including USB, analog video, HDMI in, SD card reading, a special PC RGB connection, and finally a DNLA link, which means that you can link your devices through DNLA connections to this projector for a wireless transmission. If you consider yourself to be an average consumer and not a power user, then you're most likely going to be using the HDMI and possibly the SD card and USB. So when you boot up the projector, you are given a variety of different options for where you want to go, and you can also change the input to directly connect to your devices. So looking at the sample here, let me just say that I am very impressed with this projector, especially at its price tag of being at around $100. If you watched my previous review, where I showed off a $60 projector, this one is way better and for not much more money. Of course, the main downside here is it's lower resolution, but for movie watching, it's not too bad. Now don't get me wrong, it's nowhere near the kind of quality you'd get from a 1080p projector, but it is usable, and really, at this price tag, that's about as much as you could ask for. I think my favorite aspect of this projector definitely has to be how bright it is, and those 1200 lumens definitely make it stand out. And I think this brightness and color saturation makes the lower resolution bearable. Now on the other hand, my least favorite aspect of the projector definitely has to be the sound quality. The built-in speaker on this projector is pretty much useless. I mean really, it's not good at all. So what I recommend doing is using a separate speaker in conjunction with this projector, and I think you'll be very satisfied. So in conclusion, I think this is a very impressive projector considering its price tag being so low. Let me be clear here, this projector does not compare at all to some of its more expensive rivals, but if you're on a tight budget and you're just looking for something that can kind of get the job done, then I think this is a good option for you. If you're looking for a very high quality, high definition experience, then I would definitely buy something else that is way more expensive. And one last touch, I want to be clear here, do not get this if you're planning on showing PowerPoints or any presentations or anything like that. This is ideal for video watching and video viewing, but as far as anything else goes, such as showing a computer screen. This projector just doesn't offer that kind of resolution and quality that you would need. So I really hope you enjoyed this review. If you're interested in picking up this projector for yourself, take a look at the link in the video description. If you enjoy this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you have any questions at all, leave a comment below, and I will see you in the next video. Make sure to subscribe. Have a great day. Bye.